The San Andreas Fault has long been a source of both fascination and fear, frequently dramatized in Hollywood disaster films and deeply ingrained in the concerns of those living along its path. While movies may exaggerate the destruction, the real danger posed by this massive fault line is no less serious. Spanning roughly 800 miles through California, it is one of the most closely studied seismic zones in the world. Scientists have long warned that another major earthquake is inevitable. And now, new research suggests that the warning signs may already be emerging. From unusual seismic activity to underground shifts, multiple indicators point to the fault being primed for a significant rupture. In this video, we'll explore six key signs that suggest the San Andreas Fault could be gearing up for its next megaquake and what they might mean for the millions living in its shadow. 1. Unusual Seismic Activity Near Park Field One of the clearest signs that the San Andreas Fault is nearing a major rupture comes from an area that has become somewhat of a natural earthquake laboratory, Parkfield, California. Located in the central part of the fault line, this small town has gained scientific significance due to its history of relatively predictable earthquakes. Historically, Parkfield has experienced a magnitude 6 earthquake every 22 years on average, making it one of the most studied sections of the fault. In 2004, the last recorded quake in the area took place, but the regular cycle has now exceeded its expected time frame. The longer the fault goes without a release of pressure, the greater the likelihood that stress is continuing to build beneath the surface. While some speculate that other seismic events in the region may have redistributed stress, the fact remains that Parkfield's scheduled earthquake is overdue. This deviation from the usual pattern has raised concerns among geologists that the San Andreas Fault may be in an unstable phase. Beyond the expected cycle, recent seismic measurements in Parkfield have also detected an increase in low-level tremors, often referred to as foreshocks. These smaller quakes do not always precede a larger event, but when they occur in swarms, they can indicate that stress is escalating along the fault. Scientists have been paying close attention to whether these tremors follow the same attenuation patterns observed before previous major earthquakes. Another factor adding to the concern is the location of Parkfield itself. The town sits at the boundary between the creeping section of the fault, where slow, continuous movement occurs, and the locked section, where stress builds over long periods. If stress from the locked portion transfers into the creeping section, it could accelerate the likelihood of a larger rupture. Given Parkfield's track record, any deviation from its usual seismic behavior is a potential red flag that the fault is approaching a critical point. Two, changes in groundwater and gas emissions. Shifts in groundwater levels and gas emissions from underground fissures have long been considered possible precursors to earthquakes, and recent measurements along the San Andreas Fault suggest some concerning trends. As seismic stress builds, cracks and fractures within the earth can shift, allowing underground fluids to seep through new pathways. This can cause noticeable changes in groundwater levels, sometimes months or even years before a major quake. In recent years, areas along the San Andreas Fault, particularly in Southern California, have experienced unexplained fluctuations in groundwater wells. Some locations have seen drops in water levels, while others have reported sudden increases. Such changes can indicate that underground pressure is redistributing, a sign that fault movement is occurring at depths that are difficult to detect with standard seismic monitoring. In addition to groundwater shifts, the release of gases such as radon and helium has been recorded in multiple locations along the fault. These gases are often trapped beneath the Earth's surface, and their sudden release can indicate that cracks and fissures are opening deeper underground. Before the devastating 1999 Izmit earthquake in Turkey, significant radon gas emissions were detected in the weeks leading up to the disaster. While radon fluctuations do not always precede earthquakes, the increased emissions along the San Andreas Fault have raised eyebrows among geologists. One of the more puzzling findings has been a surge in helium-3, a rare isotope that originates from deep within the Earth's mantle. 
This suggests that tectonic activity is affecting deeper layers of the fault, possibly signaling movement along previously stable sections. If these gases continue to rise at an increasing rate, they could serve as another warning sign that the fault is approaching a major shift. Three, unusual animal behavior. Throughout history, reports of strange animal behavior preceding earthquakes have been recorded across different cultures and regions. While scientific explanations for this phenomenon are still debated, some researchers believe that animals may be able to detect changes in the Earth's magnetic field or sense vibrations that humans cannot perceive. In recent years, there have been multiple accounts of unusual animal activity along the San Andreas Fault. Some of the most telling cases involve migratory birds altering their flight patterns and domestic pets displaying signs of anxiety. In the weeks leading up to previous major earthquakes, researchers have noted that certain bird species have changed their migration routes, avoiding areas that later experience seismic activity. Additionally, reports of pets behaving erratically, barking or meowing excessively, hiding without explanation, or refusing to enter certain areas, have been linked to earthquake-prone zones. A particularly striking example occurred before the 1975 Haicheng earthquake in China, when residents observed snakes emerging from their hibernation in the middle of winter. Scientists later determined that the earthquake's epicenter had been experiencing underground shifts that could have affected the temperature and pressure conditions in their burrows. Similar anomalies have been recorded in California, with reports of underground dwelling creatures surfacing in unexpected locations. While animal behavior alone cannot predict earthquakes, its correlation with seismic events has made it a subject of interest for researchers. As reports of unusual animal activity increase along the San Andreas Fault, some scientists are beginning to wonder whether nature is trying to warn us before the next big one strikes. 4. Unusual Weather and Atmospheric Changes The idea of earthquake weather is often dismissed as folklore, but some scientific studies suggest that there may be correlations between atmospheric changes and seismic activity. Researchers have found that shifts in atmospheric pressure, temperature anomalies, and even electromagnetic disturbances can precede large earthquakes. In recent years, satellite data has detected ionospheric disturbances, changes in the Earth's upper atmosphere, over regions near the San Andreas Fault. Similar disturbances were recorded before major earthquakes in Japan and Nepal, leading scientists to investigate whether these atmospheric shifts could be linked to stress building deep underground. One theory is that as tectonic plates grind against each other, they generate electrical charges that can interact with the atmosphere. Additionally, California has experienced unusual temperature fluctuations in recent months, with sudden heat waves occurring in otherwise mild seasons. While this could be coincidental, some researchers have drawn parallels to past earthquakes where similar weather anomalies were recorded shortly before major seismic events. While more research is needed to confirm the connection between atmospheric changes and earthquakes, these unusual patterns have added another layer of intrigue to the growing signs of activity along the San Andreas Fault. Five. Increasing reports of phantom earthquakes. A growing number of Californians have reported feeling tremors that do not register on seismic monitoring equipment. These so-called phantom earthquakes have puzzled researchers as they may indicate that underground stress is shifting in ways that traditional instruments are not detecting. Some experts believe that these sensations could be linked to deep-seated seismic waves moving through the Earth's crust a phenomenon that has been observed in the lead-up to previous major earthquakes. Others suspect that microquakes, tiny tremors too small to be picked up by standard seismographs, may be increasing in frequency along the fault. If phantom earthquakes continue to be reported in increasing numbers, they could signal that a more significant rupture is approaching. Scientists are now working to determine whether these sensations are the result of human perception or a genuine warning from the Earth. 6. Increased stress along the southern San Andreas One of the most concerning indicators that the San Andreas Fault may be nearing a major rupture is the increasing stress accumulation along its southern segment. 
unlike the central section near Parkfield, which experiences more frequent moderate earthquakes that help relieve pressure. The southern portion has remained locked for over a century. This means that an enormous amount of energy has been steadily building with no major release, making this stretch of the fault particularly primed for a large-scale earthquake. Seismologists have long warned that this region is overdue for a significant rupture. The last major quake to strike the southern section occurred in 1857, when a magnitude 7.9 earthquake shook central and southern California. However, it has remained eerily quiet ever since, which is troubling given the steady motion of the Pacific and North American plates. The longer the fault remains locked without a release, the greater the potential for a high magnitude event when it eventually gives way. Recent satellite data and GPS measurements have revealed increasing strain across this portion of the fault, with some areas experiencing slow surface deformations that suggest stress is continuing to build deep underground. Studies conducted by the Southern California Earthquake Center indicate that the fault is in a critical state, meaning that even a relatively small triggering event, such as movement along a nearby fault, could be enough to set off a major rupture. Adding to the concern is the dense population living along this fault segment. Unlike more rural areas such as Parkfield, the southern San Andreas runs dangerously close to major urban centers like Los Angeles, San Bernardino, and Palm Springs. If a large quake were to strike here, it could cause devastating damage, not just from the initial shaking, but also from the cascading effects of infrastructure failure, fires, and aftershocks. While the timing of the next major event remains uncertain, the increasing stress along the southern San Andreas is one of the strongest signals yet that the region is due for a significant earthquake. The continued buildup of pressure, combined with the fault's long period of inactivity, makes it one of the most worrisome seismic hazards in the United States today. With multiple warning signs pointing toward increased seismic activity along the San Andreas Fault, the question isn't if a major earthquake will happen, but when. While predicting the exact timing remains impossible, California's strict building codes, advanced engineering, and emergency preparedness measures have significantly improv. Ed resilience. However, a magnitude 7.0 or greater quake could still cause widespread damage, fires, and infrastructure failures, making personal preparedness essential. Experts emphasize having an emergency plan, securing heavy objects, and stocking supplies. Scientific research continues to refine early warning systems and seismic monitoring, offering hope for better predictions in the future. While the risks are real, there's no need for panic. Staying informed and prepared remains the best defense against the inevitable. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think the San Andreas Fault is showing signs of an imminent megaquake? Or do you believe these warning signals are just natural fluctuations in seismic activity? Let us know in the comments below.